Fighting between the army and paramilitaries in Sudan is continuing despite regional and global calls for a ceasefire. At least around 200 people have been killed, hospitals damaged, medical supplies and food in short supply. Analysts say the fighting in the capital, Artum, is unprecedented. The pessimistic scenario is that the attack and retreat battles will extend for weeks and months, which will turn Sudan into a fragmented state, and armed groups and militias will emerge, some of which have bases already in Artum. After four days of deadly urban warfare, diplomats are now mobilizing just as observers continue to study the situation. Sudan has endured decades of multiple bitter civil wars since independence. The optimistic scenario in Sudan is that in the next few days, either one side could prevail and the fighting will end, or both sides will realize that these conflicts will not be resolved through battles, so the fighting has to stop. Which means that in both scenarios, both sides will have to go to the negotiation table. Influential northern neighbor Egypt announced that it had discussed with Saudi Arabia, South Sudan and Djibouti, all of them close allies of Sudan, for the need to preserve stability and safety. I don't think that going to the negotiations table with the same military leaders who are responsible for this escalation will be effective. It needs a renewal in the structure of both sides. If the same leaders are still in the scene, it will just reproduce a deadlock equation. Sudan descended into deadly violence Saturday after a weeks-long power struggle exploded between the forces of two generals, Army Chief Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and his deputy Mohammed Hamdan Daglou.